treat. I've got another trick for you for our tricks for treats. So um, going with Halloween props, and that's what we're looking for. Um, I've got a couple of props here to show you um, another trick or two that you can use. So I've got my my devil's devil's prop and my witch's prop, which is broom. Um, so things like this, we can do a few different bits and pieces with them. So I'll start with just one. So one thing you can do um, if you haven't thought of it before is you can ask your dogs to put their paws on it. So if they know how to give paw already, you could literally just ask them to paw. That's a good girl. Keep your foot off, Merlin. Here you go, peekaboo. And paw. Yes, good boy. Off you get. Good. So you can literally ask them for paw. So if they know how to paw your hand on cue, do a couple of those first, and then you can literally just, just have the item on your hand, ask for paw. <laughs> and let them paw and then they'll learn how to transfer that skill from your hand onto your item. So you can then ask your dog to pour it when it's flat, when it's on its side, and you can get a pour from all different places. That can look quite cute. Um, so for example, I'll bring them over back into peekaboo again. Look, they can come over there a bit. And can you pour? That's a good boy. So that looks quite cute. Um, if they know how to pour something with it being completely upright, Ripley, pour. Good girl. That can also look quite cute. Um, another thing you can do with this, if you haven't tried this before, is a paw wrap. So you need your dog to be able to give paw first, ideally. Um, and once they can do that, we're just going to hold your item, e.g., your witch's broom, and we're just going to have it. You can't do it yet because it's too high. Um, just at a bit of an angle in front of your dog, decide which paw they're going to lift, um, and then you're going to tilt it so that it's the paw. The paw that would be lower down when you've tilted it. So if you want this paw, tilt it that way. Okay, to make it easier for your dog. So again, I'll do it at peekaboo. I think that's probably the easiest way of showing you. Right, go over there, darling. Oops. I know you want to do it, but go around me. So if you do it like that, paw, Merlin. Good. No, just one. Yes, good boy. And then what starts to happen is they pour it like this. They pour it like this. We then put it really close and have the treat out here and they actually start to pour like that, and the wrist just kind of goes like this at the end of it. When they do that, that's when we really praise them, tell them how brilliant they are, because then that's gradually gonna be your paw wrap, okay? So, let me show you that with the ripper chippers. Ripley, good girl, wait. Paw, no. Oh, that's paw. Yes, paw. Where's your paw? I'm using the wrong hand, I know, I know. Let's try that again with the correct hand. Sit. Merlin, not helpful. Go over there. Good girl. And pull. Merlin, get out the way. Right, Ripley, really come here. Merlin, get out the way. Sit. Good girl. And pull. Which pull? No. This pull. Yes, good girl. We got there finally. So you can see how her paw is hanging over the top more. Got the angle. I've got it really close to her. I've brought the treat this way. When it's the wrong paw, I'm obviously not going to treat her for that, but when it was the right one, I tell her she's done a good job. And then gradually, you can have it higher and higher, and you won't need to lure them quite so much. So Merlin, wait, hang on, <laughs> paw wrap, good boy, and then actually keep it there for a bit longer, and then finally you can have it completely, yes I know, completely upright, you get that, and Ripley wrap, yes, and you get a wrap, yeah? So it takes a little while. I mean, even if it's here and you've got a paw on it, that still makes a really cute trick. It doesn't have to be completely upright. You can even go so far to see if your dog can hold it like this while you're not holding it yourself. Um, or even see if they can hold it with two paws, which also looks quite cute as well. So you've got a paw wrap that you can do. Um, you can also, for something different again, different prop, you can ask your dogs to go around the item. So if they know how to go around an item already, like a barrel or a, a agility wing wrap, you can use cues that you already have. But if you're doing this from brand new, you'd literally guide your dogs round and then treat and praise, yeah? Um, hold it up with one hand, use the other hand to guide them around. You go around, Rippers. Good boy, Merlin. Learn to do the paw wrap. <laughs> Good boy, I don't need you to do that. Good boy, that was very nice. Go on then. And Ripley, go round. Yay! Go round. Yay! Obviously, mine do know go round. Um, so it doesn't matter which way round, whatever works for you is fine. You need to then work out which hand with the tree and holding the item works best for you and your dog um, as you guide them to circle. So 
circle good for it. Um, so it might be that you do it so that you can guide them further around like that. Good boy. Or it might be that you do it so you can you know, cape it really, really close. So you start with that. Um, you can also work on things that are standalone and send your dogs to go around it to help them with the wording and what to do. Once then they are getting the idea a little bit, you can go around, go around, you can ask them to go around it a couple of times in whichever direction you want them to do it. So we're for shippers, circle, good girl, and circle. Yes, good. Ooh, sorry, darling. Oh, who got it? Did he get it? You horrible thing. Hey, did you get the treat? There you go, baby. And then if they can do that, if you can ask them to go around, you could maybe synchronise it. But go on, go around, go around. Good boy, go around. Yay! And get them to go in the opposite direction to where you're going. So you choose the direction the dog goes in first, and then you go the opposite way. Ripley? No, go down. Okay, so go around. <laughs> go around. Go around. Well, we're going to go the other way. Go around. That's fine. Good girl. Okay, so you've got a paw on the item or a paw rack, and you've got sending your dogs around or synchronised go around so they go one way and you go the other. Yeah? So two more Halloween themed tricks for you to have a little go at. Really looking forward to seeing how you're getting on with some of these tricks. Remember, anyone can take part, anyone can enter. Feel free to share the event page, share the videos. You know, we want people to just take part with their dogs and have a great time with them. Um, that's all it's for. We're not trying to raise money. We're not you know, an entry fee or anything. It's just to have some fun with our dogs, which is really important this year, on top of all the other years. Um, so give it a try. Let me see how you're getting on, either with a photo or a video, and you can post it in the event page here. Or tonight I will be creating the thread on our Dog Training for Essex and Suffolk page for you to be posting your entries there as well. Okay, so remember you've got until uh, I think about midnight on Saturday night coming, so Halloween, um, to get your entries in. So get practicing and get filming or photographing and we will see you on the other side. Right, off you go.